why did he create me to be an Edomite? Well, we the scripture just answered it. He created the Edomites for his sake. You know? He created the wicked, the evil, and he created the good and the righteous. Bring out that, that seven. Alright. This is John 7 and 38. And it's again in the red letter, so this Yahweh shot speaking. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall follow rivers of Whoa. living water. Yeah. That part again. This is John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Let me say this too. Uh, now, when I'm, I'm going to revert back, when that guy came up, and that like he was teaching us, those are the same Negroes that were trying to come to Yahweh and teach him. And that's when he started cutting them with them parables. Yeah. He cuts cutting them Pharisees and them Israelites that was telling him about nature and life and all that. That's why we got to go to the scriptures and cut, cut these demons with the scriptures, right? They don't believe on the Heavenly Father, man. You know? You may, remember what we're going through? Yahawashah went through. Yahawashah went through them niggas coming up. Well, what do you got to offer? What are you going to do for us? What are you going to do for the people of the community? They was doing the same damn thing. And we're telling you the only thing to be done is to burn this bitch, man. The nuclear fire is coming. You can't do nothing for these people, man. Look at our women, man. Right. Forget about it. Now, when that guy came up here talking his mess, you know, uh, you know, it, it, it was naturally to see, you know, when the white women up here, Jake want to come and inquire because they see, their mask, they see their mask up here. Now, he was getting offended because that nigga woman we done dealt with for weeks was up here. You know, he, he heard her saying uh, they don't like women, this, that, and the other. So he want to be in Captain Saver whole mode, man. And, you know, the brother, you know, cut him with logic, you know. With a guy like that, you know, the brother said all the time, you ain't got to get scriptures on a guy like that, man. You kill him with his own, his own uh, 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 semantics or whatever. Man. Now, if he coming straight according to the Bible, right. yeah, we'll cut you. We're going to cut you with right. the scriptures. And then we tried to reason with him. We yeah. tried to tone it down and come down, you know. Yep. But yep. It, it, he, what did he do? He pedaled off on his bike. Yep. You know, that's the spirit of these jake. And yep. um, it just shows you that our people got a, a, a dull spirit on them. Man. Yep. Baltimore, you know, man. Baltimore, definitely. You know, we did that, that that documentary here, man. Right. That's right. The spirit, it, it's, it's a heavy demonic spirit on Jake out here in Baltimore, man. You need to be on this time. If, if yeah. we get on these so-called white women here, right, let them stop. I bet you how many niggas going to come up? And notice, the first thing he said is, you almost had her. And like, what do we want her for? Right. We're not here to have her. Right. Hey, and you know what? Sometimes we come in a hard spirit to these so-called white women, and they still inquire and stay and listen. Remember the two, the family, they stood out there in the cold freezing, you know, to get condemned, man. And when we start bringing out these scriptures and speaking, we were speaking on the same subject. Should, should uh, uh, these people who did us wrong have a recompense come to them? Yes, they should. Some of, you know, we, you almost had her. No, we didn't. Um, we, we gave her what, what she needed to hear. Yep. Uh, the scripture we brought out was, uh, he who leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You know, but what he did, you know, he turned it and flipped it and saved the uh, the, the, the so-called Negro woman, man. Yep. Got that out. We don't want him. You know? We sometimes have to go back there for edification because this is a repeated thing that we notice. Every time we get into some knowledgeable discourse with a so-called white person, it's always our people coming up trying to separate what we just, yeah. you know, what's that, Matthew 13? When anyone hear the word, didn't come with the, wicked, the one. wicked one. wicked yep. one, You know? Yep. The, uh, the, the try to, you know, fit his, save them type of uh, spirit on him. And we ain't here to, the, the thing is, it's not a color thing. And that's a, lot, a thing people gotta get in their mind. It's not about color, man. Some of these people who look like so-called Edomites are our people. So that's why we gotta bring the word out to everyone, man. We can't just limit it to uh, so-called black people and so-called white people. Because our people don't want to hear shit, man. Just look at the spirit of our people and what they in, man. Look how they act. Look how they, just look at them in 
their habitat, man. This jungle of Baltimore, this jungle of America, man. And they look fit, they looked the part. Two thirds of Israel looked the part of being heathens, man. Hey, uh, it was the, what's the what's the famous saying for people? You can't help those who don't want to be helped. <laughs> That's right. That's you, good, hey, good, good they don't want to be helped. Hey, hey, let them alone, man. Somebody will get it. You know. Paul said that. Yep. They be ignorant. Let them be ignorant. Let them be ignorant right. still. Oh, that's right. You got it. Huh? All right. That's why I didn't want to. I tried to talk to him. He didn't want to get it. Get on your bike. Yeah, he's unreasonable. <laughs> he's unreasonable man. Going down the street. That's right. A nigga always want to act like he's bringing some parts or something, but he does do nothing. You know, you always meet one of those niggas that they want to be a part of everything. Right. But when it comes down to it. They run in their mouth and go. What, what, what they say? Uh, I know you heard of the saying, uh, "Jack of all trades, but master, master of none." none. <laughs> and he, he was over here saying that he, he wanted to build with us. I'm like, how can you build with us no. if you're not even on the same page? Well, that's in the Book of Ezra, the fourth chapter. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, when we was in um, under captivity. Right. With uh, uh, I can't remember. And um, he said uh, basically he wanted to build with us, the, the heathen. And, um, and, he said, and uh, what he say? You have nothing to do with us in the building our house and our right. temple. You know? Under, uh, um, what the hell is his name? I can't remember. What the name? Uh, Cyrus, I believe. You know? Uh, yeah, we trying to build with stone. And he coming over here with clay. You know? We building a, a strong foundation, you know? We can't build with these people out here. See, man. a guy like that, even though he's an Israelite, he's still a nigga. Yeah. He's a heathen, let me say that. That's a heathen, that's no different than an Arab. Yeah. You know, I'm in an uh, Ishmaelite. Yep. Or a Hamite. Calm. I'm gonna start calling you two third niggas Hamites, because you do all the Hamitic tradition. Yep. Yep. Hands yep. hanging down, you know, rapping to that, uh, uh, rapping to that, mess, messing up music. You ain't nothing but Hamites. Yep. Now two thirds of you Negroes ain't nothing but Hamites. Con. Shooting each other with the sword. Hamites and literal ham parts. They eating crabs and shrimp. They doing all that. They doing everything ham do. Yeah. Okay. They eating the leg of ham. Yep. Yeah. They eat anything and everything. On oh, they, they, that so-called Passover Easter, they eating the leg of ham. You know, on our yeah. on our righteous Passover, we eat the leg of lamb, man. Yeah. You know, they I, know, I, I they know better than yeah, I know. Yeah, she gonna be in trouble with that last day. <laughs> yeah, she gonna, a lot of people gonna be eating, man. Uh, you can bring that out, eh? Go. Yeah, the cannibalism, cannibalism is coming back. Mm -hmm. Yep, they ain't going nowhere. Right, yeah. <laughs> Time. It's going back. All right, this is Hosea. No, Ten Isaiah, my bad. Isaiah? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, come. 10 and 6, right? Yep, come. I got it right here. You got it. This is, this is Isaiah. 10 and 6. And it says, I will send him against a, a hypocrite. Sorry. Yes. I will send him against a hypocritical nation. Okay. And against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. Hey, and that hypocritical nation is the so-called white man, the nation of Edom. All right? Their biblical name. Okay, Esau, Edomite, Idumian. That's right. Wasted they have, it away. Wasted away. They have many, they have many different uh, code names, but the Lord gave his mysteries to his men to identify who these people are. You got it. To take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the like, like the mire of the streets. You know, we was going into that white woman. Hey, what should happen to the people who did that turn against ours, man? Okay? The way we were trampled and hung and left for days as an example to the rest of the slaves, the fear, the so-called white man, we're going to do the same to them, okay, in righteousness. You know, have bets, cut the uh, fetus out of a woman's stomach to see who die first, or betting whether she prayed with a boy or a girl. Who knows the type of mischief that white man was, was devised. Lacasa and, uh, uh, what's his name? Lacasa and, uh, 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 and them. Khan. That's where you got the term soccer from. Right. They was chopping off the native heads, kicking their heads. Right? Yup, in Manhattan. Yup, up and down man, where Manhattan is now. Yep. That was all Native American, the whole, all of America was Native American. They got, they got a torture that's famous down in the islands, Jamaica, and went mostly where Benjamin, it's called Derby Dose, where they would cut the slave, you know, whip them, and then fill their sores up with lime juice and salt, man. 
you know? We don't know, you know, some of the things that they were doing is not even written of in history, okay? Because they had a lot of shameful things to say. Anything you can imagine. Yeah, anything you can imagine, the, the white man could devise, they was doing it. That's how we get those horror movies. Mm -hmm. Where they get it from. Yep. When you look at Brooklyn, where Brooklyn really means broken land. Like Brooklyn, New York, that was broken, broken land from New York. And now Brooklyn, that's, that's definitely a broken, that's definitely a broken part of the city when you go. When you in Brooklyn, and I always knew this even as a child, it don't even seem as if you're in Baltimore anymore, man. It's a whole different atmosphere you're out there. You talking about South Baltimore, Brooklyn? Yeah, yeah. Curtis, oh, Curtis Bay, Brooklyn. Curtis Bay, oh. 10th Street on down, man. I feel like you're riding the land of demons down there. Hey, hey, the spirit definitely changes once you cross that Hanover Street Bridge, man. Down there, we got your, 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 your income. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Brooklyn. Yeah, con. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Salakin. Con, you good? Keep reading on that. All right. Yeah, yeah. Ten six. Sorry. He said, "This is oh, verse yeah, seven. My game right there. How be it? He meaneth not so. Neither doth doth his heart think so." But it, but it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. Hey, it's in the white man's heart to cut off nations, man. Look how he went over there and set that fire to the rainforest and act like it's an act of nature. That's the act of the so-called white man. To go rob, pillage, destroy, uh, uh, lower people's quality of life where they live. You know, it just so happened that a tribe in, uh, in, in the rainforest had won a case against the U.S. government. And then the next thing you know, uh, the rainforest on fire. You know, so. we're talking a, a, a plot of land that's naturally a, 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 moisture, a, a, a place where there's a lot of high moisture at, man. You know? Yeah, you the last speaker. We only go like 15 minutes. They also said not, not, not a few, which means that's a lot of, that's pretty much everybody on this earth. Yeah, hey, wherever, wherever there's a, a, a plot of land where they can land a plane or land a ship, the white man is going to go and, and, and pretty much try to take over and spread his germs there, man. And they call it in the name of democracy. Uh, Joe, uh, uh, Joe Slack. Joe 14 and 5. This is Joe 14 and 5. Seeing his days are de determined, the number of his of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Like the brother was going in, you got plots of land where the white man can't even step foot on. That they haven't been. They haven't been to the depths of the sea nor the outer limits of space. I'll bring that out again one more time. Come, come. Uh, what was it again? 14, 14 what, 5? Uh, 14 5. Yeah. This is, uh, this is Job 14 and 5. Yeah, I say Isaiah. Job, yeah, Job 14 and 5. <laughs> Seeing his days are determined. His days are determined, you know. Uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yashah knows when he's going to return. He knows the days that he's going to come save his people. Yep. Okay. The number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So there's only a certain level of control the white man has been given. You know, right, but we, oh uh, yeah, come. On. We can see through prophecy that his days are, uh, you know, that that clock is ticking, man. Okay. And guess who's going to come through with a buzzer beat, out? Huh? Y'all shot. Yup. <laughs> you know, he gonna hit that half court shot. Like, hey, guess who's back? You know. To um, not to make a point or anything, just to clean it up. Um, Yahweh shot. No, Yahweh is the. Main one who knows when he's going to come back. You're right. Even Yahweh Shah don't even know. Yeah, that's a, you know that's a good point. Huh? You know that's the order. Yahweh Yahweh knows. So when that green light is given to Yahweh Shah, hey, you know get ready, uh, you so-called white people, to get your asses handed to you. Cause it's been handed to us. We've been handed your feet to kids, literally, man. These damn slave owners used to prop their feet up on sla or, or Negro slaves, Native American and Latino slaves, saying because uh, 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 our black skin can soak up the uh, poison 
or, or sickness up, up out of them, man. You know, that master would get a cold or a flu and they'd prop their feet up on the slaves, man. I got another one. You, you got it. <laughs> this is Revelation 18 and 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. We're going to reward you so-called white people like you rewarded us in slavery and throughout history. Okay, we're not going to spare the young ones, neither the old, all right? And it's not coming out of our old mind. It's coming from out the scriptures. That's right. You can bring, bring that out again, huh? God. Revelations 18 and 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Double unto her, double according to our works. In the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. Fill, fill to them double, you know? So, uh, yeah, man. These people want to uh, uh, drink of their cup. We definitely had to drink from ours. We still drinking. We still drinking from it. You know, even the whole flex still drinking from it. We, we still go through uh, 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 the curses, you know? It's not exempt for us because we up here doing the work. But we got to endure it all to the end, man. You look at our people, they can't endure shit, man. They couldn't endure that brief period of time when they was threatening to cut their um, they social benefits, man. You know? Our people are sick in the head, man. Ain't nothing worse than a nigga. Nothing. But the so-called, I mean, that so-called white man, a nigga in the show. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But they, but they show more, they, they see, got, it's crazy I'm, that they show more respect to us than, than, than our own people, our own man. Our people. How our people will give us help before giving Esau help. That's right. It's always the it's, mo it's always mainly uh, the, the elderly. If you notice no, that, it's always mainly them the, the, the elderly people that come up and give us the, give us the most problem, man. I'm like, you're supposed to be teaching. First you're supposed to be teaching our people something. You know, right? Uh, the, uh, the, the nigga on the bike, an elder. Yeah. What, 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 what can he teach us? Ride the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Ride the bike and, and act like you are an activist. Yeah. I do this every day. Yep. I'm a veteran. First Corinthians, what? 15 and 58. 15. We'll just want to see what it say real quick. Yeah, come on, you can bring that out. Come yeah, on. Off on that. Yeah, come on. This is First Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So all the labor that we do for Yahweh Bashim Yashah is not going to be in vain, man. Vain is to get up and go punch a clock for the white man. That's vain work. Okay. So you know, uh, like I said, uh, let me see. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and unmovable. Okay? So, and, we, and you know, Lord willing, the Lord keep that spirit of being steadfast and unmovable in his truth, man. Yeah. The only person that could really move us off these corners from doing his work is Yahweh by Shimei Shah. And when he see that time to say, hey, that's enough, family of the word, Jacob's trouble, blah, uh, so on and so forth, we're going to be here, Lord willing, doing it, you know? So with that... Oh, cool. oh, oh. Out. Yeah, yeah. You want you want to make a point? No, no. I uh, could they, they gotta. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come on. Let me get ready to close out. Get ready to close. Let me get ready to close it out. Yeah, we gotta close out. Yeah, uh, boy, you close it now. Uh, you know, I know your wife. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you know, well, pretty much with that, you know, Lord, we're just at a fine, at a fine uh, lesson this week. You know, on the have and edges. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's to say Shalom all the I came out laboring in truth and sincerity. Till next time, Shalom and death to Babylon. Shalom, Shalom and death, death to, to Babylon. Babylon. Shalom. I want to say this before we all close.